What's up, everybody? Old School NYC Gamer here once again, and thank you so much for tuning into Tabletop Times episode number six. Now, today, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be a very special episode because this tabletop not only was released by Tomy in 1981, two other companies, one in Australia, which was Futronics, and UK's own grandstand, you know, put their uh, hat into the ring to release this very famous arcade game and of course you know got to be released as a tabletop now you gotta be wondering what this is for some of those uh, old-time collectors you should already know what I'm talking about but for a lot of you who don't know it is Pac-Man as you can see right here now you gotta remember though when Grandstand came out with their version it was actually called Munchman and in Japan it was originally called Puckman which was the original name of the character now a lot of those who remember the uh, the whole saying or the whole story going with Puckman, they didn't want to have that sent over to America because some people could deface it and put an F instead of it being the P. But anyway, uh, yeah, this is a uh, nice little little handheld here. Not the greatest, but I can show you right here. It does take four C batteries. So I'll show you right here, and the controls are very simplistic and basic. Uh, you got your up, down, left, and right. You got two settings here. You got your amateur and your professional, and your off and on. And yeah, even I could actually say before we get into some of the gameplay here, uh, the Stig, uh, if you remember him, well, he was a uh, YouTuber here. Um, he's still around, just doesn't do as many gaming videos as he used to. He actually took uh, one that was defective, and he actually turned it into an alarm clock. Now, if he still has that video. I will try to link it down at the bottom. But without further ado, people, let's check out this little puppy in action, and we will be right back. Before we start off, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to show you a couple of things really quick that I forgot to mention in the last clip. That back here, you actually can use a AC adapter, but you got to make sure you get the correct voltage for it. Okay, so, so you don't want to fry it out. And as you see right here with the battery cover, the instructions are right here and they're very self-explanatory. Now the other thing I did want to mention is that the sound capacitor on this is basically busted. Uh, so I really won't know, you know, you really won't hear any sounds in the gameplay so I do apologize for that. But once again the game does work pretty good. So maybe down the line I could try to find, uh, you know, a way to replace the sound capacitor for this. So without further ado, let me just, uh, I'm going to first turn it out. Well, first zoom in so you can see this a little better here. And let's turn it on. It takes a second to warm up. And when it turns on, you're going to see your player here, your level. And this is where your points are. And let's check it out, people. Now, of course, if you uh, eat this red star right here, the ghosts get all uh, a little scared of you, but you know it doesn't last too long, so you got to be careful when you go after. And there's a cherry target right there, and I just got that. That's a hundred points right there. Yep, and I just got another ghost right there. So, like I said, it you know of course when it uh, you have the sound on here. It does work, and I just died. Go figure. So you see right there, I have two more lives left. I have three dots. See, there's another cherry target for me right there. Yep, and there you go, people. That is the completed level. Uh, not too much to say about it. You know, I'm not going to go the whole way here. So let me just uh, get back over to the wall and uh, finish up this video. So once again, everybody, thank you so much for watching Tabletop Times episode number six. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down at the bottom. And I will leave that link to the video of that alarm clock mod if you want to check that out from the Stig. And if you have uh, anything else you want to contribute, feel free to leave it in the comments. If you're on Facebook and or Twitter, you know, feel free to follow me there. Uh, I always put up some stuff, when, especially when, of course, hits gaming. 
gaming stuff in general, and anything gaming in mind, just for the hell of it. Uh, and that's about it, people. Thank you so much for watching. I definitely do have more episodes planned uh, with some of these over here. Which ones? I don't know yet. I gotta put a little more work into it. And that's it. Take care, everybody. Have a good one. Cheers.